cannot do that. So I said to his mom at that point when when that happened, and it it wasn't like um, you know abuse or anything like that. It was neglect, really. It was he he we practiced for this gymnastics competition, and he was only I think five, four or five at the time, and um the, the day the next day it was supposed to be on this big competition outside of school you know they were taking him to a special school to do it and i got high the night before all the way up until the morning i was doing lines till seven and um i just basically couldn't really speak let alone drive a car or get him to school um so i just turned my phone off ignored everyone and told them that we couldn't go to school um, he's gone to his mum's that evening and he has to come back the next day. And when he comes back, he said, how was school? And walks through the door and just burst into tears and cried his eyes out and said that everybody oh. else had medals and um, I didn't get to have one. And oh, it was just, honestly, it was heartbreaking. That was the worst, the lowest I'd ever felt. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's okay affecting, it's not okay, but it doesn't feel as bad affecting other adults who are involved in drug use with you, but affecting an innocent child that you're supposed to love and care for and look after, that just ripped me to pieces. Um, and it's not like I hadn't had many signs like this before, you know, crashing cars and, you know, endangering my own life and having, you know, terrible people around me stealing well someone stole my car once and had to pay five oh grand. i had someone steal my car I had to pay yeah. five grand off of their brother to get it back yeah. um oh it was just so many so many alarm bells like you said that that should have been enough but this was the thing that mattered the most i guess to me and i knew that i couldn't have him from that point onwards and i said to his mom i can't have him anymore and 